Maggie. I'm Kate. I'm Brooke. We're a Cheap Family and today we're visiting the Ark Encounter in Williamstown, Kentucky. Your first view of the Ark is from about a mile away, but you'll see it grow larger as you ride the shuttle from the parking lot to the boat. The model is based off the Noah's Ark story out of the Bible. The first thing you'll notice about the Ark is its size and beauty. The Ark was built according to biblical references. The Ark is the largest timber frame structure in the world. The Ark is 510 feet long, the length of one and a half football fields. You'll enter the Ark on a ramp from underneath it. The first deck is full of cages where you'll hear and see animals that were brought on board. You'll see informational signs that explain the numbers and types of animals believed to be brought on board. Some may look familiar, but others need some explaining. Many of the animals living during Noah's lifetime didn't look much like what you'd see today. As you walk through, make sure you look at the structure itself. It's incredible. The Ark was built in part by skilled Amish craftsmen. You'll also see detailed models of Noah, his three sons, and their wives. When you head up to level two, you'll come across biblical references to the time before the flood. But what we really liked about the second deck was the explanations about how eight people could feed all the animals. Collect clean water and expel waste. And provide clean air and light. These amazing technological solutions were compared to feats like Stonehenge or the Great Pyramids of Egypt. The Ark Encounter also displays what Noah and his family may have done while on the Ark. Ooh, I like the tiny hovering bird that can fly in all directions, even backwards. The second deck also has live animals you can pet. This is our white bearded monitor. And a giant door to the Ark. Both the second and third floors have Noah movies, but if you're running short on time, we'd skip them. When you reach the top deck, you can see models of the family's living quarters. Maybe this scene from the Bible looks familiar to you. This floor also houses the Museum of the Bible, with old manuscripts from around the world. The Ark is meant to be kid-friendly with several hands-on and interactive exhibits. But there's a lot of reading, too. The Ark has been controversial from the beginning, but we found that the exhibits made you think. When you finish your tour of the Ark, make sure you visit the Ground Level Gift Shop and get your free fudge samples. You can also save some time for a camel ride or to walk around the Ararat Ridge Zoo. The Ark Theme Park also has restaurants and music. When we visited, the Ark had only been open for a year, so there are plans to enlarge the zoo and open more attractions. We recommend getting to the Ark early before it gets too crowded. The Ark was much more than we expected. The structure itself was incredible. The information was interesting. The grounds and zoo were fun. A biblical theme park will always be controversial, but we think you should see it for yourself. From the Ark Encounter in Williamstown, Kentucky, this is how a cheap family travels. Come, Come aboard and see for yourself. yourself.